Getting rich is the wish of almost everyone in this universe. Some people get rich, some get richer more than they have thought or wished for. Where some can't get rich even after struggling whole life, some of them even can't fulfill their basic needs. So the question arise that what is the difference? Today we are going to discover this difference in book. The Science of Getting Rich book by Wallace D. Waffles and explore the roadmap of building wealth through the power of your mind. Because getting rich is basically not about doing hard work. It's about mental state or behavior. One of the central tenets of the book is the power of thought. Wattles asserts that our thoughts have creative power and that by focusing our minds on abundance rather than scarcity, we can attract wealth into our lives. This concept is akin to the modern day law of attraction, which suggests that positive or negative thoughts bring positive or negative experiences into a person's life. To illustrate this, let's consider the story of Emily, a young professional struggling to make ends meet. Despite her best efforts, Emily feels trapped in a cycle of financial insecurity. However, after stumbling upon the science of getting rich, Emily decides to apply its principles to her life. She begins by visualizing herself as wealthy and successful, using affirmations and positive thinking to reprogram her mindset. Over time, Emily notices a shift in her reality. Opportunities for advancement and prosperity seem to present themselves effortlessly, leading to her eventual financial abundance. While thoughts are powerful, Wattles emphasizes that action is equally crucial. Merely wishing for wealth is not enough. One must take decisive steps toward their goals. Wattles encourages readers to pursue their desires with a sense of purpose and conviction, knowing that the universe will respond in kind. Let's look at the journey of Alex, a recent college graduate with dreams of starting his own business. Inspired by the science of getting rich, Alex decides to take action. He begins by researching his industry, drafting a business plan, and seeking out potential investors. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks along the way, Alex persists, fueled by his unwavering belief in his vision. Eventually, his hard work pays off and his startup becomes a thriving success. Another key principle in the book is the law of gratitude. Wattles suggests that expressing gratitude for what we already have opens the door to receiving more abundance. By acknowledging the blessings in our lives, we align ourselves with the flow of prosperity and invite even greater wealth into our experience. To illustrate this, consider the story of Sarah, a single mother struggling to make ends meet. Despite her financial hardships, Sarah makes a conscious effort to cultivate gratitude in her life. Each day, she takes a few moments to reflect on the things she's thankful for, whether it's the roof over her head or the love of her family. Over time, Sarah notices a subtle but profound shift in her mindset. She feels more optimistic about her future and begins to attract new opportunities for financial stability and success. Let's talk about some important points here. Point 1. The Power of Visualization Waffles advocates for the practice of visualization as a means to materialize our desires. By vividly imagining ourselves already in possession of our goals, we impress upon the subconscious mind a clear image of what we want to manifest. Visualization serves as a powerful tool for aligning our thoughts and actions with our desired outcomes. Point 2. The Importance of Giving Contrary to popular belief, Waffles argues that giving is essential to the process of getting rich. He suggests that by contributing value to others, we create a reciprocal flow of abundance that enriches both parties. Consider the story of Michael, a successful entrepreneur who credits much of his success to the principle of giving. Throughout his career, Michael has made it a priority to give back to his community, whether through charitable donations or mentorship programs for aspiring entrepreneurs. Not only does this altruistic approach align with his values, but it also creates a positive reputation for Michael and his business, attracting more customers and opportunities in the process. Point 3. Overcoming Limiting Beliefs Throughout the book, Waffles addresses the importance of overcoming limiting beliefs that hinder our ability to attract wealth. He encourages readers to replace thoughts of doubt and fear with faith and confidence in their ability to succeed. Overcoming limiting beliefs means identifying and challenging negative thoughts that hinder our progress. It involves recognizing self-imposed limitations and reframing them into positive affirmations. By cultivating a mindset of possibility and self-belief, 
We empower ourselves to pursue our goals with confidence. Techniques like affirmations, visualization, and reframing help in reprogramming our subconscious mind. Consistent practice and perseverance are key to overcoming these limiting beliefs. Surrounding ourselves with positive influences and supportive communities can also aid in this process. Over time, as we challenge and replace these beliefs, we become more resilient and open to new opportunities. The journey of overcoming limiting beliefs is personal and requires introspection and self-awareness. It's about shifting from mindset of I can't to I can and embracing our full potential. Ultimately, by overcoming these obstacles, we unlock greater possibilities for growth and success in our lives. That was the things which author told us in his life-changing book. But there is a thing which comes in our mind that how to adopt these rules because we are living a totally different life from many, many years. Believe us, it's looking difficult, but it's not that difficult in reality. Slight changes can make a big impact. Let's now discuss some rules that should follow. Number one, define your desire. Get specific about what wealth means to you. Is it a certain amount of money, a specific lifestyle, or financial security? Write down your desires in detail and visualize yourself achieving them. Number two, cultivate a wealthy mindset. Challenge any limiting beliefs you hold about money. Replace them with affirmations about abundance and your ability to attract wealth. Practice gratitude for what you already have. Number three, create a vision board. Visually represent your desires through images and words on a vision board. This can help keep you focused and motivated. Number four, write daily affirmations. Craft powerful statements that declare your belief in achieving your financial goals. Repeat these affirmations daily to solidify your desired mindset. Number five, practice visualization. Spend time each day visualizing yourself achieving your financial goals. Imagine the feelings associated with success and abundance. Number six, take inspired action. Don't wait for wealth to passively appear. Take action steps towards your goals, even small ones. This demonstrates your commitment and fuels the manifestation process. Number seven, focus on value creation. Think about how you can provide value to others. Building skills, starting a business, or offering a service are all ways to attract wealth through contribution. Number eight, practice gratitude regularly. Expressing gratitude for what you already have strengthens the belief that you deserve and can attract more abundance. Number nine, be patient and persistent. Building wealth takes time and consistent effort. Don't get discouraged if you don't see results immediately. Number 10, track your progress. Monitor your financial progress and celebrate your milestones. This reinforces your belief in your ability to achieve your goals. Remember, the science of getting rich emphasizes that wealth is more than just money. It's about living a fulfilling life with abundance, security, and the freedom to pursue your passions. By applying these practical steps and aligning your thoughts and actions, you can move closer to your definition of wealth. That was all about today, and thanks for watching.